everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project for my Valentine's week and this is these cute little corner pop-up cards. So be my Valentine. Um, I've got a matching little envelope there. And basically you just slide off the belly band and then as it opens up, it's got a little Velcro bit here, you stick it down and it creates this little corner card which sits up like so. So it's really, really cute. It's, it's proper like you'd get in school kind of thing, like who's it from, question mark. Um, so I thought these are fun maybe for the kids to give um, at school if they've got a secret admirer, a boyfriend or girlfriend, um, or even just with your friends and your partners yourself. So it's just a bit of fun. I just, I don't have a lot of Valentine's um, sentiments and bits and pieces, so I've just kind of grabbed together what I have. but. See it there, it's just really nice. And this works with anything. So I was actually, um, a few people have requested me to make this style card because I'd done it as a Facebook Live and I'll share the links of those two. They were birthday cards, children's birthday cards. So I'll share those links to give you some inspiration on other, you know, style, um, designs for this card. Um, but I thought I'd do an actual tutorial as well. So it's really straightforward. Um, so let's crack on and make that one. So you're going to need there's loads of pieces only because I've got all the decoration here, but the actual card itself is really straightforward. So for the envelopes, I've already done it here. I've just done the same one again. It's a four by four card. So you want to follow the four by four card size here. It's telling you you need a piece of paper that's six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And then you just follow the first score line at three and a half. Okay, if you're unsure how to use this, I'll attach the link to showing you how to use the envelope punch board as well. Okay, so that's the envelope, so that was just quick and easy. So I've got the Velcro there, because a lot of people have, you know, when I've seen these be are done, they just have that hanging, but I like it when it's Velcroed down, because it actually means that the card sits flat. Um, Whereas some of them, you see this starting to come up because it's obviously been burnished and, and it's, it's a bend in the card. But you can see now it's, it's obviously flat. So that's why I use the, the Velcro. Um, so they're by the brand Velcro as well. These ones are black, which worked well with this project because I'm using black, red and white. So you've got your hook and your loops there together. Okay, so that's the Velcro. Got foam for some of the sentiments. These are the letters I use. You can just pick them up there because they're black, whereas most of my dies are silver. But I use the question mark here and the X and the O there. I die cut them all three times, stuck them on top of each other to make them really, really nice and thick. And then they give me these, you can kind of hear, really hard. They're almost like wooden veneers now. Um, and I'm just gonna have those kind of clustered together there. So I've got that little sentiment ready. Um, I'll pop that there. I've got this love die. I'll share all the links to my dies that I've got. Again, I've die cut that three times, so it's just nice and raised. It just gives a, there's a lot of dimension. Um, you can't really pick it up in video, but you, you, when you give it to someone, they really notice it. That's my little question mark there. But be careful I don't lose my little dot there. It's the Be My Valentine for the front. This is for the belly band. And then I've got a strip here. It's just default length of your letter paper or A4 paper. Um, and then it's three quarters of an inch wide, so you can get that piece ready. The papers I'm using are these same ones here from Paper Mania last year. No, is it Paper Mania or Dovecraft? Dovecraft, wasn't it? I think it was Dovecraft, I said. Anyway, again, I'll share the links as best as I can. Some of the papers I'm using today are from a very old Stamping Up paper pack. Um, because it doesn't really matter about Valentine's. I'm not too worried about having the, the the most current stuff. I mean, it's only hearts and yeah. So as long as you've got all that kind of stuff. So this is this double-sided paper pack here. So I've just used some of that because it was just sitting there otherwise. So you are going to need, um, for the main card base, it's a piece of um, eight by eight cardstock. Okay, so that's what I've got here. Then you will need four pieces depending on your patterns and designs what you want to do so these three pieces are going in the inside and these all measure three, three and three quarter inch squared so I'm gonna have this will make sense when I cut it in a minute but I'm gonna have they're gonna be my side parts to the card and then this is that bottom bit that folds up okay so this is all inside the card so bear that in mind when you're choosing your prints and your patterns and then this is the piece that's going on the front, so it's the same as the one I've done here, okay? And I've just got, this is my heart, which is going to be that piece that's velcroed down on the side. Okay, so that's all the pieces there. So grab your 8x8 piece of cardstock, 
and you just want to score at four inches rotate and again at four inches okay get rid of your scoreboard just grab a ruler and you're going to score pick any doesn't really matter but the bottom right hand side here and you're just going to burnish from the center and um, so score sorry from the center right down to the point there make sure you get it right to that point okay so we're going to be folding that in a minute okay so that's that piece so now we can go ahead and burnish all of our score lines okay and then this one here you want to bring it down like so okay and as you do you'll see you'll get that kind of squared part now so your box is starting to form and just make sure it's all nicely lined up and then just burnish that like so okay so that's what we should have okay so we've got this piece here so now we want to cut down this one here so you've got that there on the left you're going to cut down this one here on the right hand side so you want to do this really neatly because you are going to see some of this like so this bottom piece I'm just going to cut away just a slither which is that lumpy bit of the scoring just that score line that I'm just removing okay you can see the amount there just a tiny bit okay and then what's going to happen is you're going to bring this one over and then this one's going to go at the back you just want to make sure you don't get anything overhanging which is why I said just cut off that slither and then that will be the back of your card so now what will happen is is that will go up and then it will close over like so and you want a nice square you don't want to see anything overhanging like so okay now it's entirely up to you when it when you come to decorate it if you want to stick this down now and decorate it while it's all together or lie it down flat remembering that this is the back so the best way to do that just so that you know you don't accidentally stick something on it put a cross on it so you know that you're not using that piece and I just find it a bit easier to decorate these piece, these back pieces while it's all nice and flat so I've got my two here which are um, uh, three and three quarters of an inch squared so I'm just gonna I've already put the backings on here so I'm just gonna stick these ones um, on the back there um, and then this piece here so I for the middle would have been like that and then I just literally put it in my trimmer point to point and just cut up if not just get a ruler draw a pencil mark and then just cut up that one there just to give you these two halves and they're basically gonna go in there I haven't stuck the back of these because I'm gonna use um, just some of my tacky glue for this bit just so I can get it right up into the edges there so none of it's will like roll up or okay, anything. So that's all stuck down now so you should have about a one eighth of an inch border on everything there okay so now I'm going to continue decorating the back here so I've got this love that's going to go in the middle and then I'm going to stick down these XO XO going to go down I think along the bottom there maybe up the top, no, I'm going to keep them at the bottom this time I had them going across last time but I quite like them in a cluster at the bottom there so I'm just going to go and stick those down I don't know whether um, some of you have this issue or not I know I used to, which is why I invested in this and it's a rubber, um, rubber, rubber for um, removing glue so you probably can't see it here but I've got little bits of glue on the top so once that's dried, don't do it when it's wet because otherwise you'll rip your paper because the paper would be uh, soft from the glue. So let it all dry and then you just rub over that and it just removes it. It's like magic. It's amazing and it saves so many projects, especially if you get like glue on white card and it gets a bit dirty. This is amazing. Again, I'll share all the links for that. Right, so that's what I'm going to do for the minute. Then what you want to do is you can use double sided tape if you want, but I'm going to use my glue again just because this is such a good glue. It just dries so hard and it just finishes your product projects your projects really nicely so pop a bit of that on there and then you're going to lift this one again like i said over and then just bring that up making sure it's all nice on the edges there and just spend a bit of time making sure it's all nicely stuck down okay, so i'm happy with that so that all looks really nice and then what will happen now is when you close it it will fold up like so it's so already now you can see it coming together. So I'm going to stick this piece down on the front, which was my other 
three and three quarter inch squared. Okay, so that's that one all down. Then I've got my piece here. Now what you want to do with this is all you want to do is stick the right hand side down and don't go right up into the edge and all I'm using for it is foam. Because I'm using Velcro on this side, the Velcro will lift up the heart slightly so you don't want it crooked. So if you just even it out by using some of the double sided um, foam, like so, that's enough, that's all you need, you don't need to cover the whole thing. So take that off and then I'll grab one of my Velcro dots, get the hook and the loop, make sure it's nice and in the centre. Okay, pop that on the other side, Ooh, like so, so it's all sticky. And then hover it over to where you want it. I'm making sure the middle of my heart is in the middle of this line here and the bottom. That is all nice and even now. And that's all stuck down. So now you can see that's all coming together nicely. And then I've got my little question mark, which is going to sit right in the middle there. So I'll just get that glued okay. down. So now that's stuck in place. I'm going to pop it on its side and just rub over that. Like I said, you can't really see it, but just to show you what you do, just use it as a normal rubber. Yep, that's all gone. A little bit down there. There we go. Okay, so now you would obviously just have to help that along a little bit, like so, once it gets moving more and more, but you can see now the dot underneath there, and then it just slides up, okay, and closes up. And then we do the belly band. So I'm literally just showing you how to quickly put it all together. You don't need to see all the detail of the extra bits I'll do, because you'll see them in the pictures at the end. So I'm just showing you here. So I've got my little sentiment for the front. I'm just going to sit that in the middle. Oh, actually, no. You want to put that on here first, like so. So do it all, fill it all up with what you're doing, because obviously I've got things in here that are quite bulky. You can see there, those little bits there. Do everything first and do the belly band last, because you're going to be wrapping that around it. So you don't want to do it when there's nothing in it. So I'm just very loosely wrapping it around. You don't want to pull it really taut, because you don't want it to be stuck. And then I'm just going to trim both ends there, splodge some glue in the middle and then bring that down over the top. Whilst that's there I can put this then on top like so. And I'll just turn that over so I can apply some pressure to it. Okay so that's now all done so you can just slide it off, it should have a bit of room. Okay. Slide that one off and then it will open up and whoever gets it will see that. So I'm going to carry on and finish all those bits off there. Again, you'll see all that in the picture, what I've done, but that's how you make it. It's so quick to do and then it's just up to you how you decorate it. So hope you like this one. I hope your Valentine enjoys it too. Um, these are going to be going to friends for their kids to take to school. So it'd be, I'd actually quite like to see the moment they give it to their valentine or whether they leave it in their bag or something i think it's quite sweet but there you go so that's today's project nice and quick um i hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to our channel to see more thanks for watching bye